Hi everyone, my name is Skylar. I am so excited to tell you all about this amazing book I am reading about Greek mythology. Greek mythology is a collection of myths or stories that have been passed down for thousands of years since the time of ancient Greece, where people spoke about gods, heroes, and legendary creatures. According to my book, there were 12 gods who lived on top of Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece. These gods were powerful and immortal, but were always watching over humans and guiding them throughout their lives. Zeus was the most powerful king of the gods, in control of the sky, weather, and especially thunder. He lived in his palace on Mount Olympus with his wife, Hera, who was the queen of the gods and the goddess of marriage and family. One of Zeus's brothers, Poseidon, was the god of the sea who carried a mighty trident and was worshipped by humans as being the creator of horses. Zeus also had many children, some who became Olympian gods just like him. Two of my favorites of Zeus's children were twin gods, Apollo and Artemis. Apollo was a god of the sun, but also loved music, poetry, and dancing, playing an instrument called the lyre that had magical powers. One of Apollo's special powers was predicting the future, and one day he decided to give some of his powers to a human woman, turning her into a fortune teller called an oracle. People came from all over Greece to ask questions to the oracle at Apollo's temple, wanting to know about their future. Apollo had such amazing powers that he could even turn himself into a dolphin. Apollo's twin sister, Artemis, was also very powerful. She was the goddess of hunting, always carrying her bow and arrow. And just like Apollo was a god of the sun, Artemis was a goddess of the moon. She watched over all the wild animals, but her favorite was the deer. She is famous for being a protector of both young animals and human children. Did you know that the capital of Greece is Athens? Athens is also named after an Olympian god. Her name was Athena, and she was a courageous warrior who was the defender of ancient Athens. She was also the goddess of wisdom. Athena loved birds, especially the owl, and ancient Greek heroes on daring quests would always look to her for help and guidance. One of the bravest heroes of them all was named Perseus, the son of Zeus and a human princess. Perseus was sent on a quest to battle a snake-headed monster, Medusa, who could turn people to stone just by looking at them. Luckily, Perseus had help. From both Hermes, the messenger god who gave him his flying sandals, and from Athena, who gave him a powerful shield. Perseus avoided being turned to stone by looking at Medusa's reflection in the shield, instead of into her eyes. After he defeated her, the Pegasus was born, a white-winged horse who was immortal like the gods and helped Greek heroes who would fly on it. The mightiest out of all the heroes was Hercules, also a half-god who was the great-grandson of Perseus and defeated many monsters with this superhuman strength. I've learned so many wonderful things from this book, but I've also learned that we don't need to defeat great big monsters in order to become a hero. We can all become heroes in our lives by acting with courage, wisdom, and kindness to everyone we meet. Because just like the ancient gods of Olympus, each of us also has an immortal, powerful soul. It was so much fun talking with you, and I am excited to share more with you soon.